the Department of Tourism Government of Nagaland has signed an agreement with Hotel Polo Towers Group on Wednesday to develop two four five stars four or five star hotels in Nagaland. The projects which has been planned to be set up in Dimapur and Kohima will be realized under a public private partnership model. The Dimapur facility will feature top of the line accommodation, multiple dining venues, entertainment centers and retail shops, while Kohima project will focus on providing unparalleled luxury hotel experience to serve both business and leisure travelers. The projects are set to elevate the tourism and economic landscape of Nagaland. The lease agreement was signed by the Director of Nagaland Tourism Department and CEO and Director of Hotel Polo Towers, Deval Diprevala. As Polotas Group, we are Northeast India's largest hotel company with hotels in various Northeastern states and our aim uh, is to grow the tourism infrastructure to such a level where we can, we are able to take Northeast tourism uh, to everybody, whoever wants to experience it. Right now what happens is a lot of people want to experience it but they are unable to experience it because you know, uh, lack of quality accommodation, lack of, lack of infrastructure, various things. So we attempt to fill that gap with whatever we are doing. So we are super excited to be here. Uh, uh, we've been here primarily because of the encouragement of all the government. Uh, you know, it's been very interesting uh, for us to come visit the state multiple times to understand what is happening. And we are very, very uh, keen to do both these projects. And we look forward to do them in a quick uh, and efficient way and create a landmark project both in Kohima and in Dimapur. I was not expecting that I would be given the time to talk. But since I have been asked to give a small speech, I just wanted to <coughs> congratulate uh, this uh, government of uh, Nagaland Tourism Department and then the Hotel Polo. In fact, uh, this is uh, a, a red letter day for both the department and then the, the CEO and the, the Hotel Polo. What do you call it? I don't know exactly. Because uh, <clears throat> here in Nagaland, we have lots of potential in uh, having a good hotel. But so far, excepting one or two here in Kohima or Dimapur, we don't have much. Therefore, I feel this will, uh, what do you call, uh, give us a moral boost. Provided uh, things come in a proper time and then in a proper way, I think this will be a moral boost to the government of Nagaland and then the state as a whole. Well, uh, actually, this is a new beginning. So we expect, and uh, we also have a high hope that this will give certain uh, moral boost to the state and then it will also be cater the need of the people. I once again uh, congratulate the Department of Tourism and the officials from the Polo Hotel that this will be a new era for having a good hotel. With this few word, I thank you, the department and all of you. Thank you. The Honorable MLA of our Kohima area, let me put it that way. At least one Angami MLA is there to see that in Kohima, a beautiful boutique hotel is going to come up at the Millennium area in Aradura. I also uh, invited Honorable MLA and advisor Sri Toviotoji, but due to an important meeting at 5 p.m. of the Sumi legislators, he couldn't attend, but his blessings are with all of us. And the chairman, who is also the Secretary of Tourism, and my director and officials of Tourism Department, and also the Polo Group CEO, and my brother and friend from the Polo, and all the press and my dear friends who will take the right message to our people. Today is indeed 
a very good day. In the vision of the Honorable Chief Minister of Nagaland, Shri Nifuryo, towards tourism as an industry in the state of Nagaland. I am just privileged to be the tourism minister today. But this thing has come to being with the initiative of the Honorable Chief Minister, Shri Nifuryo. I want you all to know that very clearly. It is like the story of the pig and the dog. I have come to put the legs on it. But the works were done of these negotiations for almost one, two years, I think. Two years. I also want to thank my predecessor, the honorable former advisor to tourism, Sri Tehovin Yoktamiji, who had initiated under his leadership this initiation with the Polo Group. And obviously, yesterday in the assembly, during the break, I told Honorable Chief Minister, Sir, with your blessings, tomorrow our department is going to ink with the Polo Group the formal agreement to initiate the cumulative vision of the tourism in Nagaland. He said, go ahead. So with his blessings and Almighty's grace upon all of us, today this being is being done. So I thank you all. And this is a congratulatory moment, not only for all of us that are here, but for the people of Nagaland. Least, we have to come to know that tourism as an industry is transforming the lives of many people throughout the state and throughout the world in large. Nagaland has just stepped into the field of tourism as an industry. We know very well, under this present Honorable Chief Minister's leadership, the Hornbill Court started. And next year we are going to have the Jubilee, the Silver Jubilee of the Hornbill Festival in our state. Nagaland is known for the Hornbill Festival throughout the world. Everyone looks forward for that. So with the increase of footfalls, not only for the Hornbill, and in all sectors of tourism in Nagaland, whether it is in the eastern part, whether it's in any part of Nagaland, the need for the right boutique hotels with Naga consciousness in it is needed. During our negotiations, I have made it very clear that your designs and the spirit with which you will build these hotels should be with Naga motives and the consciousness that the Nagas carry. Because, yes, we are also like the rest of the world, human beings, but the Naga heritage and our aspirations are very unique in itself. So we welcome you to Nagaland to be like us and to work with us and to cherish good business amongst our people, for our people. I know you will endeavor to employ a lot of the right qualified Naga youth into your industry as we partner together for long term to come. 30 years and 60 years will just go by. I and my officers and Honorable MLA may not be alive, or even both of you, but things will build on and go on. We dream and aspire for things that are beyond the lifetime. We don't dream and aspire for today alone. We dream and aspire for the people of Nagaland for a lifetime, a lifetime and generations to come. This is just the starting of building and empowering our people in the right way. So today will not be forgotten. Today. See, all of us that are seated here, I never knew that you would also be here, and especially with such a beautiful bed. It's not to poke at both of you, but I was shocked and surprised. Please don't write all of that things tomorrow. Huh? <laughs> what I mean to say is that both of you carry a class apart just because of your bed. And it is also something that we know that Polo Group will be a class apart. 
for Nagaland. The Department of Tourism will surely cooperate with all of your efforts and individuals. And remember one thing, not only the Department of Tourism, the government of Nagaland and the Honorable Chief Minister's leadership will facilitate everything. And the people of Nagaland will be honored to help you achieve for all of us what is needed to be done. So needless to say much, congratulations to both the stakeholders and to the people of our state. We look forward to doing greater things as we build Nagaland in its tourism sector, not only in Dimapur and Kohima today, but elsewhere also throughout the state. So thank you very much. God bless us all.